I was there in 1954 when my father took me to San Francisco. It certainly left an impression on me. I thought, what a fantastic thing. They have all of these boxes of water with fishes and other organisms in there, and it was free. You just walked in and put your nose against the windows and entertained the fish. It was such a special place. Everyone in San Francisco knew the Steinhardt. I really thought that was just the greatest place on earth to work at. And at one time we were famous because we had dolphin shows. We had dolphins that would jump up 18, 20 feet in the air and be hand-fed fish. And that was very exciting to many kids and their parents. It certainly gave them an impression of what it's like to be a dolphin because they were such rapid swimmers and so capable. And I, who had my nose against the window after hours so many times, realized that these were very complicated animals that were interested in our behavior as much as we were interested in theirs. I had the good luck and good timing to be selecting fishes that the rest of the world was soon to discover were very, very important. Sea snakes, great white sharks, manatees, all sorts of things that I just had a sense of that's really interesting. If only I could explain that to the general public. I love it dearly because it's so special to anyone who cares about life on Earth, underwater and above water.